what is the solution of this equation? In other words, what number plus 5 is 8? The solution of the equation is 3, because when we put the 3 for the variable x, the equation is true. In contrast, the equation is false if the variable x is replaced by 2, because 7 is not equal to 8. If 4 is added to each side of the equation, the solution is still 3. If negative 4 is added to each side of the equation, the solution is also still 3. This property, which is called the addition property, is used in solving equations. Adding the negative 5 to each side of the equation removes the 5 from one side of the equation. Because adding a negative to a positive is the exact same as subtracting that number. x plus 0 is equal to 3. Simplify x plus 0 is x is equal to 3. The solution is 3. Is 6 a solution of the equation x minus 2 is equal to 4? Yes, 6 is a solution of the equation x minus 2 is equal to 4. However, 7 is not a solution of the equation x minus 2 is equal to 4. Adding the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2, to each side of the equation removes the negative 2 from one side of the equation, because they cancel each other out. x plus 0 is equal to 6, x is equal to 6. The solution is 6. What about this one? Is negative 2 a solution of 3x plus 7 is equal to 1? Remember, a solution of an equation is a number that, when substituted for the variable, results in a true equation. So let's substitute the negative 2 in our equation. 3 times negative 2 plus 7 is equal to 1. That's the question. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Plus 7 is equal to 1. Minus 6 plus 7 is 1 is equal to 1. Yes. Negative 2 is a solution of the equation. Let's do another example. 9 plus x is equal to 17. Feel free to pause the video and try to isolate 
the x by subtracting the 9 from both sides. Plus 9 minus 9 is 0. x plus 0 is equal to 8. x is equal to 8. The solution is 8. Let's look at this one. 3 minus x is equal to 2. Add negative 3 on each side of the equation. You can also say subtract 3 on each side of the equation. Negative x is equal to negative 1. In this situation we have to multiply both sides by negative 1, which flips the sign in front of all expressions. So negative x times negative 1 is x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Another way to isolate the x is to start by adding negative 2 on both sides. one minus x is equal to zero. Add x on both sides. One is equal to x. Which you can also write as x is equal to one. What about this one? 7 minus x is equal to 11. We can also do three steps at once. Let's add the x on both sides, subtract 11 from both sides to isolate the x, and we'll just flip the result so that x is on the left side, which looks better. This becomes x is equal to negative 4. Let's check this. seven minus minus four is equal to eleven which is the same as seven minus one times negative four is equal to eleven negative one times negative four is plus five 7 plus 5 is 11. 11 is equal to 11 is a true statement. We can also say it's a true equation. So our solution x is equal to negative 4 is correct. Let's look at examples where a number is multiplied or divided by x. The solution of the equation is 4. The equation is false if the variable x is replaced by another number like 2. If we multiply each side of the equation by 5, the solution is still 4. If we multiply each side of the equation by negative 5, the solution is still 4. Multiply by negative 1 on both sides leads us to 10x is equal to 40. 
x is equal to 4. The property which is called the multiplication property is also used in solving equations. Multiplying the reciprocal of the two on each side of the equation removes the two from one side of the equation. In other words, we are dividing by two on both sides of the equation. Let's do another example with the multiplication property. What is the solution of the equation? Feel free to pause the video and solve the equation by isolating the x on the left side by removing the 4. Here we are multiplying the reciprocal of the 4 on each side of the equation, which removes the 4 from one side of the equation and gets the x by itself. In other words, we are dividing by 4 on both sides of the equation. Let's look at this example, where we have a fraction in front of x. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 halves, which is just 2 over 1. Simplify. X is equal to 16. Of course, you can also multiply here by 2 on both sides. Let's try this one. 3x over 4 is equal to 6. Simplify. x is equal to 8. We can also multiply by 4 on both sides. Dividing by 3 on both sides, and we get x is equal to 8. What about this? 8 over x is equal to 4. Equations with a single fraction on each side can have their denominators removed through cross multiplying. Just multiply the left numerator by the right denominator and the right numerator by the left denominator. Before we can do this we have to set up the 4 as a fraction which is just 4 over 1. 4x is equal to 8 times 1. 4x is equal to 8. This situation we had already in the previous examples. Multiply by the reciprocal of 4 on both sides, or in other words, divide by 4. x 
x is equal to 2. You can also look at this equation as 8 times 1 over x is equal to 4. And solve it the regular way, like in the previous examples. How do we get rid of the x in the denominator? one is divided by x. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So multiply by x over one, or just by x on both sides of the equation. Eight is equal to four x divide by 4 on both sides and we get x is equal to 2 flip the sides x is equal to 2 let's do another one with cross multiplying 1 over 4 times x is equal to 3 over 8 Multiply by 4 over 1 on both sides of the equation, which means multiply by 4. Simplify. x is equal to 3 over 2. These are just some of the basics. For other kind of equations involving multiple fractions, please check out my upcoming videos. What if we have an equation like 3x plus 9x is equal to 24? In cases like this, we have to first simplify the equation by combining the like terms. So there is only one variable term on the left side of the equation. 3x plus 9x is 12x is equal to 24. Dividing by 12 on both sides and we get x is equal to 2. The solution is 2. What about the next one? 5x plus 3 minus 2x is equal to 6. Five x minus two x is three x plus three is equal to six minus three on both sides. Three x is equal to three. Dividing by three on both sides and we get x is equal to one. Let's look at 3 plus 4 times 2x minus 2 is equal to 3 times 2x minus 1. As we know after some examples, the goal is to rewrite the equation as x is equal to a number. which is called solving for x. Rewrite the equation so that there is only one variable term, which is the x, and only one constant term, which is a number. When an equation contains parentheses, like in this equation, we have to use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. So we have 3 plus 8x minus 8 is equal to 6x minus 3. 8x, 3 minus 8 is negative 5, 6x minus 3. Here we can do two steps in one. We can 
subtract 6x on both sides. So we have 8x minus 6x is 2x. And we can add 5 on both sides of the equation. Negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2. Dividing by 2 on both sides and we get x is equal to 1. Let's check the solution by replacing the variable with the number 1. Three plus four times two times one minus two is equal to that's the question three times two times one minus one three plus four times 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 is 0. 3 times 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. Three. 4 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 1 is 3. 3 is equal to 3 is a true statement. This means x is equal to 1 is the solution to our equation. Let's do another example. x plus 2 times 3x minus 2 is equal to 3 times 2x minus 1 plus 5. We have to use the distributive property again to remove the parentheses. x plus 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 5. x plus 6x is 7x minus 4. 6x, 5 minus 3 is 2. Subtract 6x on both sides. And add 4 on both sides. 2 plus 4 is 6. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Happy learning everyone.